YouTube Travel Vans. And we're doing some urban RVing today. That's right, we're in the big city of Winnipeg, a historic Forks area where the Assiniboine River and the Red River cross. I wanna show you the 2019 Unity IB. So the 2019 Unity IB is powered by the Mercedes-Benz 3500 series cutaway chassis. 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque with a five-speed automatic transmission. We ordered some really great safety features. That's your front collision impact assist, lane assist. We also order the Bi-Zeon headlamps. We order the chrome grill. We order the fog lights, high beam assist, auto lights, and rain assist as well for the auto wipers. We also ordered the 170 70 inch wheelbase on the Sprinter chassis, it's the 3500 series, 15,250 pounds GCWR. This really is the showpiece right here. You can see how beautifully aerodynamic it is. I really love the step here for cleaning my front windshield. LED lights at the top. When you're driving down the highway, you can see a leisure coming from miles and miles away. It looks great. Curved wall. We have a courtesy light. We have our 16,000 BTU furnace and we always need storage, urban or in the great outdoors. Great little area there for a tool kit. We've got our step that's gonna come out. We can also leave it on camp mode and the step stays down all the time and the step's not going in and out. And speaking of a hot day, today is relatively warm. I think I'm gonna take this jacket off and one great thing about the Unity IB, I've got some jacket holders right here because we're gonna go for dinner later. We're just gonna put that right there. We have our two deep cycle six volt batteries, easy access right here. And I really like this, the screen door blocks off. So I've got some ventilation, no mosquitoes. And I like that we run some bracing across the screen. So if you have pets, the pets aren't gonna jump out the screen door. Another great option for 2019 is the remote keyless entry for your main entrance door. It works off the Mercedes-Benz fob. So you can double click it to lock it. Locks the deadbolt. Click, 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 and the door is unlocked. So nice little option to have. The brand new legless awning with wind sensor. Very simple, wind sensor switch must be on all the time. If you turn it off, the wind sensor is not gonna work. One touch of the button, and look at that, the awning automatically comes out. We also have built-in LED lights that are built into the awning, which you can also use as night lights. There it is, look how beautiful that is. So we're just over 12 feet in length, seven feet wide. What a beautiful area to keep the sun off my head. This is one of the great things about the 2019 Unity, Unity Island bed is versatility. I wanna to go to tailgate party, baseball games, football games, hockey games. I have this beautiful patio awning. And of course with the wind sensor feature, if a gust of wind comes up, it automatically goes back up. I don't ever have to worry about my awning being out. We also have a three-way switch here for an LED light up top, and we also have LED lighted handle for at nighttime for getting in and out of the motorhome. But if you love the outside, look at this beautiful denim. You're gonna absolutely love, and I mean love, the interior. Come on in. Welcome inside the 2019 Unity IB. As you can see, what a beautiful motorhome. Look how the Mercedes-Benz chairs, and of course we always order the Mercedes-Benz swivels because they are so easy to swivel, turn face into the motorhome and create all this beautiful space. Six foot five interior height. Once again, we are only 25 one, 710 wide, and 10 six in height. Very stealth, no slide outs. We have three different ultra leather colors. We have pebble, fog, and coal. This is the pebble we're looking at. All done with French stitching. Super soft, super hot. It's a super hot day today. You can see the sun is pounding down on this. I can put my hand on here and it doesn't burn my hand. New for 2019, we've added armrests onto the chairs. So they're very comfortable to sit in, but very comfortable to sit back and lounge. You can also watch TV from here with the pull out TV. Look at this. Very nice. You're gonna love this feature. We have a little chaise lounge feature here. You can see this comes across. Put our cushion back in. And we have one other cushion that fits in. It stores in the, underneath the bed. We place this cushion here. 
and we now have a chaise lounge for kicking back and relaxing. I like that. Or you can use it as an ottoman for the driver and passenger seats sitting here. Put your feet up here to watch TV or even from the uh, driver's side and from the passenger side, as you can see here. Very nice. Also, you can kind of make it into a quasi bed. Look at this, you can slide this cushion over, drop this down and you can sleep with your head on this side and your feet this way and you kind of have a little emergency sleeping area or even a little day bed. So from a great lounging area, we can put the dining room table in which stores underneath our bed at the back. Pull goes down. Look at the size of that locking mechanism. When it locks in, this table's not gonna move. Locks in, clamp it down. Now that is a table. That is strong. Look at this. Not moving at all. Nice big table area, dinner for four. Or you can use it as a computer desk. You can work from here on your laptop. You can slide over onto this side. You can work over from this side as well because you've got the built-in armrest. We also have a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter so I can plug it in on my inverted plug and charge my computer while I'm working as well. And you can see how simple it is when you want to get up, the leaves move out of the way and you can walk into the back, walk into the galley, get something out of the fridge, come back, go back to work, go back to having some dinner. So you can sit back here, relax and watch TV all at the same time. Also, the Unity IB has four seat belts, one here, 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 and there. Total of four seat belts in the Unity Island bed. Above the cab area, we've got some great storage areas here. Optional safe goes up in here, but lots of storage space up front. We have our Jensen stereo system. It runs 12 volt at your DVD player, CD player, AM, FM, it has an HDMI plug, it has a USB charging plug. We have four speakers in the Unity Island bed, two up front and two at the back. And also it does streaming Bluetooth as well. So this Island bed is done in our cherry stain. We also have maple and espresso, so three different colors of wood stain. We also have two glamour package. We use the Phoenix white uppers or the Phoenix gray uppers. Or you can also leave the all wood look because it looks fantastic as well. In this upper cabinet, we've got our solar controller, so we have a great option for solar. We have 200 watt flat solar panels up on the roof or 400 watt. So if you're a serious dry camper, 400 watts of solar panels would be a great option to have. So right now, my 400 watts of solar panel up on the roof are drawing about 8.2 amps of power back in to the two deep cycle RV batteries. Curved cabinet doors, I mean, they look great. European hidden hinges. I love the new longer latches. You can touch them anywhere and they open up. And I love the soft close. But look how much storage space you have. This is 12 inches deep, so nice big upper cabinet on this side. Plus, if you look underneath here, we've got LED lighting, strip lighting. That looks great. Up here, you can see the rope lighting. That's standard for 2019. On the other side, this is our control center. So we have two TVs in this motorhome. So we have a switcher box with an HDMI connection as well so you can watch TV digital TV up front you can watch a movie in the back we're all pre-wired for satellite dish this model has our t4 wine guard satellite dish it's right here just press the button it'll automatically find the satellite dish we do uh, dish direct or Bell so three different satellite providers also standard for 2019 is the wine guard 2.0 Wi-Fi booster with 4g digital TV antenna and a radio antenna all in one. We also have an inverted plug up here for uh, running all of our electronics. Let's have a look at the galley, the upper cabinets, what beautiful cabinets they are. Look at that beautiful rope lighting, the curved doors, European hidden hinges. Look how deep these cabinets are. If you don't have a plate, always just grab the plate out of the microwave. If it doesn't fit, it's really not a cabinet. So if it doesn't fit, you've got to acquit, right? Don't take it, but nice big cabinets. Double shelves so you can put your coffee cups up high and your plates down low. You can see nice two big upper cabinets above the galley. I love how they close in place. Big picture window, look how beautiful that is. Awning style window, so very important. See how the awning window opens up. Lots of fresh air, cross ventilation. If it was pouring rain out, I can still get some air. Also new for 2019, ultra leather valences. Looks fantastic. And we have daytime shades. We got built-in shade holders. I really like that. 
to hold the uh, shade in place. I can have the window open. Also, we have nighttime shades as well. So at nighttime, no light coming into the motorhome. Okay, let's have a look at the galley, the countertop. Of course, we got a countertop extension. How perfect is that? A little more room for working. We have a brand new color for 2019 called Carbon. We also do Antarctica White. This is solid Corian throughout. I love how much room we have. We have our two burner spark ignition stove. Look how simple it is to fire right up. Also has a built-in backsplash. I really like that feature. So two burner stove. You can also use it as a cooking area. So it gives you a little more room in the galley. Make sure the burners are off before you put the glass cooktop down. I also love this look, this big, beautiful, deep stainless steel sink chrome kitchen faucet and solid surface sink cover so you can be working and still pouring water. Now that is a great use of space. Beautiful built-in garbage can with a solid Corian cover. You can also use that to keep drinks cool. So nice use of space there. Back over here, we've got our stainless steel backsplash. We also have a very nice place here for spice, little spice rack, inverted plug. Once again, LED lights in the cabinets look great and above here a beautiful storage cabinet very nice we talked about earlier our beautiful tv our movie is still playing we're going to watch that in a little bit two usb charging plugs right here above the galley we have our 12 volt fan you can also upgrade that with a nice little option with the rain sensor built in so you can set your temperature automatically comes on if it decides to rain will automatically close great little feature runs 12 volt keep the motor home nice and cool on a hot day if you look up here we've got our beautiful vacuum bonded roof with our LED lights are all dimmable as well. We've got ducted air conditioning that runs through the entire motorhome, bedroom, bathroom, and living area, keeping you nice and cool on a hot day because we have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump. And of course, our beautiful skylight. Look how beautiful it is. Look how it opens up. Lots of natural light, lots of fresh air. If you have a few mosquitoes, bring it across you can still have lots of fresh air it's a super hot day today so we've got the skylight open and we've got the sunshade closed so we can get some fresh air and not the sun down below the galley we've got some great storage areas look at this full drawer extension glide solid wood all line they look great so lots of storage space full water filtration that goes in all of our units that's a charcoal filter nice and a little more storage area here so lots of storage area listen how they all close in place look at this beautiful reverse curved door spectacular and look at the storage space that you have easy access to our truma aquago comfort plus hot water heater we've got our surge protector back there nice little option protect uh, any power coming into the motorhome and we've got our water filter right there, so easy access to all that. Plus, another storage area back in here, so you've got lots of places for pots and pans and dishes and all the stuff you wanna take when you go RV. You're gonna love this, we call this the POP, pull out pantry. Yes, sir. Look how much stuff you can put in there. That is beautiful. You're gonna love this little feature, little privacy blind at night. No light can come in. Above the entrance door, we've got our service center, optional stabilizer jacks, two stabilizer jacks. You turn them on, they automatically retract, and they stabilize the coach. Don't panic when you turn on the power, they will automatically go up. New exciting option for 2019 is four-point automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. So if you want to level the coach by pressing one button, great little option to have. This control center is for our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. Comfort Plus heats the one liter of hot water in the tank. You can leave it on eco, it will not heat that tank. Other mode, we can turn it off. This is our control center for our tanks and our battery. You can see we've got 13.8, that's full battery power. Our two deep cycle six volt batteries are fully charged right now. Fresh water tank is empty, gray is empty, black is empty, and the propane has about 32% full. Also we have our water pump for turning on our water pump switch right here. As we move over, we have our optional generator. So this is the control center. So you have a 3.6 kilowatt propane or 3.2 kilowatt uh, diesel. So you always press the stop button until it lights up. That means that it's primed and then you would start the button. We also have an hour meter on here. So it tells you how much usage your generator has been running. And this last one is our inverter right here. So you can see I've turned the inverter on. Just inside the entrance door, we've got our beautiful handle for coming in. All done in ultra leather, built in light as well. Very nice. This is our step 
turning our step on camping mode, turning it off. This obviously right up there is our LED lighting in our cabinets, which is standard for 2019. This little red switch tells me that I have my service center light on and my pass-through storage light on as well. And we have brand new light switches with dimmer switches built in for all of our LED lights up in our ceiling. On the other side of the galley, we've got a little storage space up top, convection microwave. So this is a microwave and an oven as well. So dual purpose and our three-way fridge 6.7 cubic foot separate freezer separate fridge it runs three ways so it runs on propane power so if i'm dry camping run it on propane keeps it nice and cool we can also run it on 110 power shore power or on 12 volt power separate freezer separate fridge this is our thermostat for our motorhome so you can have the fans on running on the air conditioner hit it again i can run it on with the snowflake that means it's on air conditioner I also have it on furnace. I hit it again, it says heat pump, set the temperature. That's all you have to do, run just like a residential thermostat at home. Always leave your fans on auto. I mean, lots of great features up front, but have a look at this, a private bedroom area. Full walk around, walk this way, or I can walk this way, walk around island bed. Now this is nice. Look at the size of this. I can sit up, I can watch TV in bed, I can read a book. I have USB plugs, I've got inverted plugs, I can work on a computer, laptop, iPad, I can read. I mean, what a beautiful use of space. I love this LED lights. I can also turn them off and on and I can dim them. I look at all the storage I have up above. Once again, look at those beautiful curved doors, European hidden hinges, but look at the storage space that you have. And look how much room I have in the bed itself. Nice big bed for sleeping for two. I love the walk around bed. I love the two picture windows on both sides, awning style windows. But let's talk about storage. Look at this, nice hanging closet. Pull out drawer down here, full drawer extension glides once again. And if we sit back and have a look, look how beautiful this picture window is, awning style windows, daytime shades, nighttime shades. And once again, we got the holders built right in for the blinds so you can have the window open. Look at that beautiful TV area right there. So I can be watching satellite TV back here, a movie up front, TV back here, DVD up there. See, so I can turn on the lights in the bedroom. I can also dim them as well. We have two speakers in the back bedroom area and of course, ducted air conditioning even in the bedroom area this has to be the most functional RV on the market today so tons of interior storage but just in case you need a little bit more we can provide that as well look at this bed lifts up built-in struts look at that lots of storage space we carry our table our pole and our chaise lounge cushion but lots of storage space for extra linens underneath there and the great thing about an island bed is the bed is always made up it's right here plus we have two pull-out drawers but look at the size of those drawers that can store a lot of stuff and on both sides of the drawers more storage area now that is some smart use of space i also love this little feature we have led lighting at night so you don't trip and fall so the unity island bed has a residential style bathroom it does not have a wet bath where you would sit on the toilet to shower nobody wants any part of that shower door slides across makes into a full-time bed area i have a separate toilet sink area and a stand-up shower but look at the size of this beautiful bathroom solid Korean countertops brand new color for 2019 carbon look how much room you have for storing all your bathroom supplies you have an accessory channel here hanging towels glasses built in I've got some shelves right here beautiful medicine cabinet up here and we've got some more storage down below also have a GFI plug here and we have a switch for the water pump so if you forget to turn on your main water pump switch at night you can just turn this one on and this is a marine grade china macerator toilet so that'll grind up all your solids and shoot them into your black water tank also we've got a fantastic fan we this one has the optional rain sensor the great little option to have it would automatically close when it's raining nice little mirror for getting ready in the morning and we have a dressing mirror right here and you can see we've got our 
leisure logo clothing. We have a great little leisure store where you can get leisure logoed merchandise. I love this solid door on the bathroom so somebody could be using the bathroom and somebody could be separately showering. Now that is smart. Big stand-up shower. Once again, this is a full dry bath, residential style dry bath. But you can see how much room I am. I got my boots on. I'm probably 6'3". I am about 6'7 to the top here, so I've got lots of room. We've integrated our soap and our shampoo holder here. We've got on-off switch on the shower head. That's very smart. And I love the skylight. LED light. And look at this. Got a little place here for dental floss. No, but we do have a place to hang, drip dry your towels and bathing suits and clothes and a nice handle for getting it out. Nice big shower area. You don't have to go to the camp shower areas. You can shower in your motor home. Look at this beautiful swivel seats. Lock right into place. Oh, look at this. I'm ready to go. This is a very impressive cab area. As you can hear, we actually have the motor running. You probably can't hear it. Hard to believe. That is a V6 turbo diesel clean running diesel carpeted liner in here so we put rubber backing on it so when you're moving from front to back you're not going to slip and fall easy to clean got a couple little storage areas here for coffee cups up here for coffee cups both doors this locks and unlocks the motorhome air conditioning control centers right here we have telescopic steering control Right, and tilt steering, that's very nice to have. And I love the chairs, all done in ultra leather. These are all done with the Mercedes-Benz swivel seat, so you can bring the chair up. Very nice, you can bring it down. You can move the chair all the way forward. Look, when I move it all the way back, it's quite amazing. I have a 34 inch inseam. I can barely, barely touch the accelerator or the brake. And you can move the seat up and back so you should be able to find a position that's very comfortable for driving so for all of our leisure owners for the first two years that you own a leisure travel van we provide roadside assistance which gives you technical support roadside assistance tire service tire assistance delivery of fuel and liquids in emergency lockout smith jump starts rv mobile mechanic it also provides you a dealer locator assistance and concierge service that's all free of charge for the first two years of you owning your leisure travel van and you can renew it after that if you want to. We also have My LTV on our leisure website, travelers clubs that you can join, we have contests, we also have technical support, we have FAQs, we have some videos if you have a problem or you don't understand something so you can look that up and we provide that to all of our leisure travel van customers. A couple little charging areas they have on the Mercedes-Benz chassis, we have a USB plug here, we have an auxiliary plug here. We also have a 12 volt plug down here and we have another one in the coffee area here. So we have the integrated backup camera so you can watch it, move it over to camera so I can see what's behind me. See, there's a car right behind me, you know how far to back up. I can see my ladder. If you have a tow vehicle, you can watch your tow vehicle. You have bicycles on the back, you can watch your bicycle. So you can actually have the camera on while you're driving down the highway. When you put it in reverse, it will automatically come up. So regardless of how you're using the Unity IB, you need storage space. So the Unity IB will not disappoint you. Look at this. Now there's a little storage area here, but I love this, look at this. Fiberglass, compartment doors, built-in strut so it's not gonna fall and hit you on the back of the head, plus they lock in place, which is important. Also in this compartment, we have our 1,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. All of our new electronics all need clean running power. So when you turn your inverter on, which takes your six volt batteries and flips them over to 110 power, you wanna make sure that it's clean running power so we don't damage anything. Vacuum bonded curved wall, so vacuum bonded between seven and 21 pounds per square inch. This is a fiberglass exterior, welded aluminum framing, two pound density polystyrene insulation interior wallboard. We press that together. That's what makes the one piece wall. And we paint this three coats of color, two coats of clear. So each paint color is painted three times and then two coats of clear. And for 2019, we have seven exterior colors: denim, Bordeaux, champagne, white suede, Eurosport, silver, and graphite. So seven different exterior colors. As we work our way down, we have a 110 electrical plug. Down here, great little option, we have the Alcoa aluminum rims. We go with six Alcoa rims, inner and outer, and also at the front. So we have dualies at the back. Very important when you're looking at a motor, you wanna make sure you have dual wheels in the back, more stability when you're driving. The Alcoa aluminum rims, great little feature on them is that you can check the inner and the outer tire pressure from right here. Fiberglass fender 
fender skirt and then underneath here we spray foam all of our wheel wells so you don't have any stones that are damaged also quieter when you're going down the road we also spray foam all of our underfloor tanks as well so no stone damage also gives them a little bit of insulation as well as we work our way down here we have our optional generator once again our beautiful fiberglass curved doors this model has the 3.6 kilowatt propane generator or you can have the optional 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator so people always want to know which one it all depends how you RV people that do some serious dry camping a diesel generator might be more beneficial because you would have more time of hour running on the generator using the diesel fuel versus the propane once again we're always need exterior storage look at this beautiful exterior storage this is all galvanized sheet metal compartments so they'll never rust down here we've got our propane quick connect that's a smart little feature so you carry a little propane barbecue with you you can plug right into that you don't have to carry a big 20 pound tank as well so we can run it off the main 15 gallon propane tank pass through storage look at this full pass through all the way through the other side hello can you see me i mean is this not incredible look how much storage space you actually have i mean talk about a mother-in-law suite but look how much room you have i'm totally in here i'm well over 6'2 with my shoes on look at this this is storage beyond belief and led light too so i actually could read and sleep back here this is perfect i love it let's have a look at the back of the unity ib full fiberglass rear mass you can see how it's contoured this comes out of a mold we're vertically integrated we build all of our fiberglass parts ourselves you can see how the contour how it's beautiful it's fully insulated as well two-piece rear mask full fiberglass main body and a separate bumper as well so if somebody were to ding your back bumper you can just replace the bumper part led lights here and led lights up top for your marker lights we also have our integrated backup camera so i can see what i'm backing up into this area plus you can leave it on if you have a tow vehicle you can watch your tow vehicle as well down below here we've got our 5,000 pound receiver hitch if you want to tow a vehicle a boat or a utility trailer we also have our seven pin connector for connecting it up to it the uh, mercedes-benz has a 15,250 pound gcwr so that minus your wet weight is how much you can tow so up to 5,000 pounds on the mercedes-benz chassis we also have a great option on all unity models and that is the exterior ladder two-piece exterior ladder this part comes out of here we can just hook it onto here this way nobody can get onto your roof because they don't have the extension for the ladder and speaking of the roof let's go up and have a look so we're up on the roof of the unity island bed all unity roofs are the same all vacuum bonded fiberglass flex roof two pound density polystyrene aluminum welded framing it's super strong as you can see we've got some great features up here if you look at every single screw head on this roof it's completely sealed no open exposed screw heads on this roof as you can see it's super super strong and this is why a unity is a unity we're over on the driver's side once again our beautiful pass through storage that's incredible let's have a look at our outside service center once again our full fiberglass compartment doors two struts so it's not going to fall and hurt me when i'm working down underneath here we got our winterizing bypass valve right here cable connection satellite if you have a portable satellite dish we're also pre-wired for satellite dish over here we've got our exterior shower hot and cold running water very smart we also have a nice little pick up for RV antifreeze for winterizing or if you're a dry camper you want to put fresh water into your tank you can suck up the fresh water out of a out of a water container and put it into your fresh water tank that's very cool because we've got our water pump switch right here just turn that on and it'll suck up suck up that water or that antifreeze through the lines so when you want to fill up your fresh water tank or you're hooking up to shore water you run the hose through here it plugs into there and then you can actually close this down and not have it exposed so that's very smart the water pump switch very nice there also a propane switch for turning your propane off and on we have 15 gallons of propane sometimes you go on ferries or through tunnels you got to turn it off or when you're filling it up at a service center you want to make sure that the propane is off right here we've got our black water flush 
if I want to flush and clean up my black water tanks, you always want to make sure that you've got the black tank open. You want to make sure that your sewer hose is connected and you're into a sewer area and then turn on the water. It'll wash out the black water tank and goes down into the sewer. And right here, this is our propane fill. So you would go to our certified propane filler and they would fill up your propane tank. And then down below here, we've got our black tank and our gray tank. So we always dump our black first and then our gray. And here is your dump area. You hook up your blue hose here and you would then dump your tank. We also have a great option called the macerator pump. So you can actually dump your tanks. It's already connected. It can actually dump uphill. It runs on 12 volt. Beautiful little service center. Everything is right here. We got our beautiful, sexy, frameless glass windows awning style which means they open up so you can be pouring rain outside you don't have to worry about getting any water inside the motorhome but those are beautiful once again our beautiful curved body three coats of color two coats of clear looks great the aluminum rims our shore connection 30 amp shore connection also standard on all 2019s is the truma aquago comfort plus hot water heater this is the best instant hot water heater on the marketplace it has a one liter reserve tank that stays nice and warm on comfort plus when you turn it on it uses up that one liter of hot water by the time that one liter is used up the heat exchangers are super hot and you have continuous hot water it is the best hot water heater on the marketplace and it's standard in all unity models i mean if we haven't had a crazy amount of exterior storage with the pass-through at the back look at this two more storage bins that is incredible plus we always include the three inch sewer hose dump station but look at the storage space that you have once again built-in struts fiberglass doors look how beautiful they come underneath the chassis gives that nice aerodynamic look and you can see they lock right in place now that is some serious storage. You're gonna love this feature. This is our diesel fill. It's integrated into the body. You can close the door so no diesel fuel smell goes into the motorhome. Fill it up here, and then of course it locks in place. This is a great little feature. You can actually bring the mirrors in. We are 710 exterior width. What a great amount of exterior storage. Stealth, small, big city life. Out in Alaska, you can take it anywhere you want. I think you're gonna absolutely love the Unity IB. What a beautiful floor plan. Private bedroom area, full-time made bed, beautiful private bathroom, macerator toilet, lots of storage, walk around island bed, nice big galley, very flexible area up front. And we're gonna take this little baby out for a little drive. Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans, go and see your local Leisure Travel Van dealer. Take one of these beauties out for a test drive. You're gonna absolutely love it. Go get yourself a Leisure Travel Van. Dean from Leisure Travel Van. You can configure your leisure travel van today. We have build-in price. You can compare floor plans. You can pick colors of exterior, interior wood colors, leather colors. Plus you can pick all of the options and you can price it out and know exactly what you're getting in your leisure travel van.